Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Cover Moses. Uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and do a case of Bowman Sapphire. Uh, sealed cases, which nobody has except for your boy, PYT number uh, two. All right, so I do have that filler going there, Sapphire three. There's nine spots left, 65 bucks for a random team. Cardinals, D backs, Indians, Mariners, Nationals, Orioles, Phillies, Pirates, Rockies, and Twins are left. In our Sapphire number three case. So if you're down for the filler at 65 bucks a spot, you'll get a random team. Helps us fill Sapphire number three. Drop a digit in the chat. I'll be right back. Grab the case. All right, here we go. There's 320 cards in this, and they all need to be sleeved. Sean for three spots. So that puts us at six left. Thank you, Sean. My boy going hard. That's what I'm talking about. So Don for one. Sean for three. Who else is going to join them? Six spots left in Sapphire number three. Teams are in the chat there. Let's go. All right, the last break took me like almost like over an hour. Let's see if we can shave some time off of that. Caleb for one. That puts us at five. Thank you, Caleb. Yeah, let's get that thing filled while I do this thing. You know me, JMS, falling asleep. Texting people, blah, blah, blah. Thinking of you. Oh, nice. It has the odds on the back. Orange, 1 in 16. Purple, 1 in 57. Red, 176. The Pat Paracha, 1 in 130. Sheesh. My grandma is dead on both sides of my family, JMS. So, uh... I highly doubt that. God rest their souls. There you go, J Mez. Get the get your ass to work. Don needs a Don needs a ride. Go go pick up my VIP. What you doing in Ocean City, uh, Don? Right, Luis Garcia, Phillies. Andrew Vaughn, White Sox. A. Dominguez. Right there. Rodriguez Mariners. On vacation with the family. Nice, nice. What's there to do out there? Cal Mitchell Pirates. Where is Ocean City anyway? Like in Jersey or something? David Jones Phillies. Christian Pache Braves. You can do mini golf and drink. Short Ridge Pirates. Lots of sun drinks. We got Miguel Vargas of the Dodgers. Lots of sun and drinks out there in Los Angeles. 
Nice. Uh, Jorion Rays. Deep Sea Fishing. Oh, man. Adam Hall Orioles. It's in Maryland. Ocean City, Maryland. What phase are they at out there? As far as like uh, the pandemic is concerned, you know we're still in phase one. We never left phase one here in the in Florida. Some some other states are like already at phase four. You know they have like uh, movie theaters open and stuff like that. Can't do nothing down here, but people still do whatever they want. Sixto Sanchez Marlins. No pandemic in Ocean City. Nice. Yeah, not not not, uh, not the same down here, man. keep that filler rolling i had that thing down to uh well we've 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 been under curfew uh jms we've been under curfew but you know we don't really care <laughs> five spots left in that filler come on gonzalez indians Don down for another in the filler. That knocks that thing down to four. So Don, I got you for two total. Sean for three. Caleb for one. Let's get that thing full by the for uh, before I'm done here. The sooner we can get that thing filled, the sooner we can move on to another one. Bryson stop Phillies. Lewis Robert. I think he's the only rookie in this thing. Nice, there's an orange. Oh, that's nice. A Dominguez orange to 75. That'll go for some moolah, I reckon. Yankees off to a good start. No autos, but they already got a blue Dominguez and now an orange Dominguez. White Mariners. Smith Yankees. Dang, like that. And that was just in the first box. You're telling me the Lewis Robert base cards are selling for three fifty? Wow. We'll jump into that filler, J-Miz. Casey Mice, Tigers. Dylan Carlson, the 75 Cardinals. Shea Braves. 
Hernandez Reyes. That's true. All the quote unquote good teams were gone early. However, these are all prospects. So you never know. Any one of these guys could turn into a good player or a great player. I saw a green in there. Nice. Cooper Johnson to 50 Tigers. The Tigers are blue, and then the Dodgers hit as well. My man Caleb. Doesn't even know about Bowman, and he's still trying to get some stuff filled. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so you've noticed that uh, your boy's been struggling with these uh, top loaders. Uh, the reason being, these cards are, are a little thick. And we don't have any 55s. We don't have any 75s. We can't find any on the internet. It seems uh, everyone is sold out of those. So I've been having to squeeze these things into 25s. Now, they do fit, but it is a tight squeeze. Wow, Don, you, you literally, yeah, as I was talking about it, I wasn't looking at the chat, but, man, we have no more 55. 55s would fit perfect on this. Even 75s. You know, we're, run, we're running low on 100s. I mean, I, I could put it in a 100, but it would be extremely loose in there. It'll slide out. If you put it in a team bag, it won't be that big a deal. But uh, but yeah, man, I've, I've been I've been having to squeeze them into top, into the regular top loaders. Yeah, that's another thing, Pete. They they are uh, price gouging. You know that supply and demand thing is a real thing. Well, I hit a, uh, an orange Jason just now. 50 of 75 in the first box. Freeman Indians. Dude, I hope so, Brandon. I hope so, bro, because... I mean, we, we managed to find some regular top loaders, which is cool. But, uh, yeah, we have no 55s, no 75s. We're down to our last case of hundreds. We got some 120s and some 130s, but the sooner we can get some new supplies, the better. Louis Robert rookie. I can't believe this is a $300 card. Like, I, I really can't. Like, I cannot wrap my head around that. Dude, a bunch of a bunch of Lewis Roberts came out of the first case. I think like three Roberts came out of the first case. We sold the what? What did we sell the the White Sox for? The White Sox were three hundred and fifty bucks. So, oh, pff, yeah, they uh, more than paid for their spot. Mauricio for the Mets. Yeah. If I if I knew Cheeto, trust me, I, I would have charged like a million dollars for him.
Oh, the Pirates definitely got cards. We're just getting started. I'm only on the second box. All right, where's that filler at? I think we had that thing down to four. Yep, we did. Down to four. Copy and paste this thing. Four spots left. 65 bucks. We get a random team. Team's in the chat there. And we fill case three of this sapphire business. Trying to open all five tonight. That way I can sort them and get them shipped out tomorrow. Says beer. What a hell of a name, beer. If I was him, I would start a like a beer company and just call it Seth's Beer. Because it's his legal name. You know, whatever. Anyway. Royce Lewis. We got uh, a pastel to twenty Rangers. Well, there's a pirate, but uh, need some uh, some ink on that or some colors. Come on. Roll this in. Wow, James. Wow. That's awesome. For the Nationals, Jackson Rutledge, the autograph. Well, Joe, I can show you how to pay. Uh, we do have a spot on our website for payment. Uh, we do accept PayPal and all that good stuff. Uh, but don't worry about payment until we're full. We still have uh, three spots left. Uh, so I'll put you down for a spot, Joe. And uh, once we're full, uh, I'll show you how to send payment. But in the meantime, Joe, if you register for an account on our website, you can save an additional 10% on your first purchase. All you got to do is go to our website, ripcitycars.com. Uh, I'll drop a link to our site. Uh, click login at the top right of the screen. Then click register. Fill out all that information. Once you're done registering, log on to your account. And uh, once you're in your shopping cart, you'll see a, a, dis a discount code uh, towards the left of the screen. All you have to do is type in new guy mojo, all lowercase, all one word. And you'll save 10% off your first purchase. We got Cheeto for one. That puts us down to two in the filler. Two spots left in the filler.
That's right, and we're done. Let's close out that number three so we can re get right to it after this break is done. I'm already moving a lot faster than I was in the first one. Got the filler down to two spots. Two spots left. Let me uh, copy and paste that. Pete says he'll take the last two. My man. And then there it is. Uh, so let's see. I have. Give me a second. Let me put this down. Yeah, the top loaders are slowing me down because they're they're tight fits, man. I don't have any 55s or 75s. They're sold out everywhere. Can't find them anywhere. So uh, they are definitely tight fits. You know, I'm 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 about to just not top load them. You know, right now. Well, Pete, I mean, stupid question here, Pete. Uh, but why would you want to uh, take them out of the top loader? I mean, I guess I guess maybe if you want to uh, put them in a one-touch or something, maybe. Uh, JMS, I do not, no. I know what you're talking about. It's like those, those like large plastic ones or whatever. Don't have that. Alright, but real quick for the filler. I got Don for two, Sean for three, Kato for one, Joe for one, Brandon for one, and Pete for two. Yeah, that's true. And I, I realize you gotta if you if you're gonna get them graded, you gotta put them in that card saver. Which I learned that the other day. All right, so I'll check payments on the filler here shortly. Uh, but Joe, uh, Joe, are you still here, Joe? Uh, I know Joe is a new customer. I want to go ahead and uh, show him how to send payment. All right, perfect. So, Joe, uh, here's what you do, man. So, to send payment, this is our website, right? ripcitycars.com so you'll notice under featured breaks I mean you can't see it that well here hold on All right, this is a little bit better alright so you'll notice that uh, on our website ripcitycars.com under featured breaks the very first uh, link the narwhal direct payment that's where you send payment for fillers so all you gotta do next to this add to car button you'll see a box with the number one on it just double click that, type in your dollar amount. In this case, I believe it's $65 a spot. Type in 65, click add to cart, view your cart. Once you're done, you should see the subtotal there for uh, 65. And uh, like I said, under discount codes here, just type in new guy mojo, all one word lower case, Apo apply the coupon. Before you check out, you have to apply the coupon that way you'll get the 10 percent discount that code only works one time uh and that is offered to our new customers but if you guys have never used that code it's a one-time use only code so go for it uh all right let's uh keep going here real quick i'll check payments in a sec for that uh filler for three see the Tigers in four and five are gone nice thank you Grayson uh, let's see real quick just to get this out the way uh, Sean I got your payment you're good to go 
Uh, Brandon, I got yours. You're good to go. What's up, Ra Ra? Ra Ra, if I give you three hundred dollars to put a bet for me, would you do it? I'm trying to put money down for that Masvidal fight, but I don't want to like set up an account or anything to do it. I'm lazy. All right, so uh, let me refresh this. Uh, I got Peter, Don, Brandon, and Sean uh, so far. Just missing Caleb and Joe uh, with the filler payments. Now, 17. Uh, so, okay, so Bowman 4 and 5 are both at 17. So that, that's going to need a little bit of work. I mean, I can put a filler together, but... Uh, Maybe we give it a little time for people to buy teams, maybe? What, what do y'all think? Uh, Joe, let me check that. My man, Joe! Mod Hammer for Joe! Welcome him to the room. By the way, Joe, I haven't introduced myself, man. My name is Jesse. You know, people here call me Uncle Jesse, Cardboard Moses... You know, I got a bunch of aliases, but uh, but thank you, man. I, I appreciate you uh, getting into our breaks, man. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll wait on putting a filler down for four or five. Let's uh, get through this break. All right, so the only payment I'm missing right now is from Caleb. And I just got it. So Caleb, if you're watching or listening, I just got your, uh, I just got the payment, man. Thank you. Yeah. So Rara, you said you can't deposit any more monies. It won't. It thing has to do with legalities, but you can wager what you have in your account already. Well, listen, Rara. I mean, if you, if you, if you're willing to put a bet down for your boy, you know, uh, uh you know, I'm, I'm good for the three hundred bucks. And if I win, you know, I'll, I'll cut you a little, you know, a little some, some, some. Uh, James, stop right there. If you want to send me an email or something, send me an email. But I don't want that in the chat, all right? I already know what you're going to say, James. Don't say it. If you want to, you know, if you want to chat about it, send me an email and we'll chat about it, all right? I appreciate that, James. Yeah, I don't know what the odds are for Masvidal. I think they were like three to three to one odds. So I'm trying to take advantage of that and come up on some money. Cause I, I, you know, I, I really think my boy gonna take it. All right, Blue Jays auto. Philip Clark. Plus two thirty. So rah rah, you know I'm an idiot. What 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 what, what exactly does that mean? Man, this thing is no joke. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna put these in 100, yo guys. Bet 100 bucks to win 230. So if I bet 300 dollars. 
2.3 times what you bet. Yeah, I'm trying to get into the betting game, y'all boys. Mainly with, like, UFC. Because, like, I, you know, I watch that shit a lot. And I feel like I have a pretty good uh, handle on what's, you know, who's good and who's not. So if I bet 200, 300 bucks, then I would win 690? Shit. If you're down, if you're down to do it for me, Ra Ra, if I win, I give you those 90 bucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy just doubling my money. Are there, are there better odds out there? <laughs> yeah, JMS, I'm not going to do that, but, uh, what I will do is I'll put them in a I'll put them in a regular sleeve, then I'll put them in a large sleeve, and then maybe another large sleeve, and then I'll put that in a one hundred. Well, the problem is, James, these aren't thirty fives; these are twenty fives. I think these are these are twenty fives. I could be wrong. But yeah, they're they're super tight fits, bro. What's up, Gary? And you know, but you know what's crazy too is it's only the autographs that I have a problem with, and some like like these, like the Lewis Robert blues. The blues, no problem. They slide easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But these, not so much. Like it's 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 fucking stupid. So I'm gonna take these out too. Nah, Ra Ra, you know, with my luck, it's it's better that I just sit back and watch. You know, with my luck, I, I would lose. Alright, so put a regular sleeve and a... It still slides, but it takes, it takes a little effort. Ah, that makes sense, James. That makes a lot of sense. What if I put it in... another regular right and then I put that over a, a thick one and then I put that over another thick one and then I put that in a hundred now that looks ugly but it doesn't slide out ha I have come up with a solution. Now I can uh, all I can do now is pray that I <laughs> that I have enough hundreds. <laughs> if not, then I'll just move on to one twenties and, and figure it out. All right, well, sweet. We got a uh, sapphire three filled already. I'm just gonna plow through this. Uh, I, yeah, I have some oversized top. Like I have 180s, 130s, 120s. I'm down to my last case of 100s. Uh, but I should have enough to, uh, you know, to take care of uh, the five sapphire cases I got. I mean, it's only 10 autographs, and then give or take, like what, maybe another 10 numbered cards or whatever. We got a Ian Anderson of 75 Braves. 
Well, the thing is, Ra Ra, these are kind of thick. You know, these will fit perfectly in a 55 or a 75. I just don't have any of those. And we can't find them anywhere. You know, everyone is sold out, apparently, so. But I'll figure it out. I'm not worried about it. <coughs> That'll be a lot of fun, uh, Cheeto. That comes out tomorrow. Oh yeah, we got we got team bags all day, every day. Plus, I, I figured out how to how to do it. I'll just put two regular sleeves. What what did I do? I think I did two regular sleeves and then like two large sleeves, and it fits in a one hundred perfectly, and it doesn't slide. No matter how hard I shake it, I'm shaking the shit out of it, and it, it only just started coming out then. And once it's in a team bag, it's only going to be able to go so far anyway, so. It'll be good to go. For all that team all they got, rah ra. They know the deal, they know the deal. I should send Rosa a text and see how she's doing. Yeah, I could, Joe, but you know, I, I thought, dude, I follow a lot of like Facebook groups and, and like stuff on Twitter and Instagram and stuff, and a common, a common thing that like bothers people is having tape over the top loader. And I can kind of, I can kind of understand why. But you know, I'm not like again. I'll you know I'll figure it out. It'll be in the team bag anyway, so it, it'll be good to go. I've 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 never had somebody be like, hey man, you know you used the wrong top loader, <laughs> and my card slid out and it's all fucked up. Never had that happen. Yeah, exactly. See, see, see what I mean, James. Never use tape. Always use team bags. That's just you know the way to go. And if you're gonna use tape, you gotta use that. Uh, what's it called? Like the painter's tape or something? Like packing? No, not packing tape. Painter. Yeah, painter's tape. Ra Ra said it. Bro, I've seen pictures of people putting duct tape on there. <laughs> and like one of my favorite things to do is just like read people's comments and you know a, a good a good majority of people just not not fans of the tape on the top loaders Lancy Delgado. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know Jay Mez doesn't like it, but I like the sapphire on there. That's kind of, it's kind of nice. All right, so I got a Blue Jay. I got a National. I got a Tiger. I got a Dodger, and a White Sox. All right. J-Miz thinks it's cheesy. I like it too, Sean. I like it too. I'm a sucker for cursive. In gold, like, foil. What's up, Manny? 
Dude, Manny, I, f I feel like you might be behind in the stream, maybe? Exactly, Sean. Just, you know, just a little... A, a little, a, you know, add a little pizzazz to it, you know? Yeah, Manny's definitely behind on the uh, stream. I, you know, I've been meaning to, like, post this in the group, but, like, what do you guys use to, like, show off your cards? Like, I have a few cards that I've been collecting, and uh, I had somebody, my boy DC, uh, bought me these card stands, and this is basically what I, like, all over my desk at home. I, I'll have, like, you know, the few autographs I have on these. But, like, what do you all use? Like, do you guys have your stuff, like, in a... Uh, like in a sealed gla glass case or something? You thumbtack them to the wall? Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, just put like a, just staple them to the wall and shit. That way they don't move. keep them in an ammo box like do you guys like display your stuff take them to the ceiling mirror in the bedroom Ooh. for booklets i use the stands that people display plates and normal top loaders i put on card stands i you know i just i recently saw they have like these one touch stands too which is kind of cool Your china cabinet, a display case for your PC. Nice. <laughs> Ra Ra doesn't show your cards. It's a secret shame of mine. <laughs> so you just put them in an attic somewhere or something? Ooh, that's the way to do it, Sean. It rubs the lotion on its skin. All the nice stuff in a safe. Yeah, like, you know, I can, I can understand where you're coming from, uh, Manny, you know, to not show off the goods. But, like, nobody comes in my house anyway, so it's like, you know what I mean? It's for, it's for me. Like, oh, shit, I got that. I mean, Ra Ra, Ra there, there are worse hobbies out there, bro. Like, no disrespect to anybody, but you could be one of those weird old bird watchers. Those, those people are uh, a little strange. Just, you know, a little strange. And you could also be into crack, too. You know, that's, that's another hobby. <laughs> that's another hobby, all right. Whoa, J-Mess. I feel attacked. That's a personal attack on me. Yeah, stamp collectors are fucking weirdos for sure. Puzzle hobby. Yeah, oh my god, I hate those. Like, I had a, a friend of mine post, like, videos of her, like, trying to solve a, pu like, solve a puzzle. And she, like, what she did was, like, she built, like, she started, like, she, she had, the, she had did the border first. And then she did everything else. You know, it just it frustrated me watching her do that. Exactly, Cheeto. Exactly. I uh, I self medicate. Oh my god! How cool! Oh my god! There, yo, you remember? You remember those? Uh, not the Chia pets. I actually, I would rock a chia. Uh, I would rock a chia pet. Uh, but they used to collect, like they used to sell like these rocks. Do you guys remember that back in the day? They used to sell like these pet rocks. I think that's what they call them, pet rocks. And I just remember thinking, like, I could go outside and get a shit ton of those for the free. 
Why would I go to Walgreens and buy a pet rock for like ten dollars? Fuck is that about? There's a there's a lot of a lot of hobbies out there. There's a, there's a lot worse things you can get you can be into. See, like at least this stuff is sports related. Like sports are fucking awesome, you know. And a, a good portion of people just collect this stuff. But like you know, there's 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 money to be made in this stuff too. Believe it or not, like if you know what you're doing. Yeah, money's the coolest shit ever. Bro, the dude that came up with Pet Rocks is fucking rolling in the dough right now. I can't, dude, could you imagine how that conversation must have gone? Mom, I want a Pet Rock. You want a what? Go outside. <laughs> There's plenty out there. Oh, yes, I did. That's a great invention, bro. Uh, that invention where, like, you spray the poop and it disappears? And where the fuck does the poop go? I don't think we ever found out. Ah, I used to collect comic book cards. Uh, funny enough. Damn. I think this is, uh, is this the Pat Paracha? For the A's? Here you go, Pete. I think this, is this the Pat Paracha? Let me see something. So there's the... Where is it? Where is it? No, these are supposed to be reds. How are the... How, are the, how is this red? This is not red. According to, the, according to the checklist, sapphire parallels go as follows. So yeah, so this is completely wrong. It says oranges to 50. That's fucking wrong because the oranges are to 75. Uh, purple's to 25. Uh, I'm not colorblind. Uh, that is purple and it's numbered to 10. It says here the reds are to 10. So I can only assume that the reds are to 5 maybe? And then the pet paracha are the super fractor 101s. Interesting. Oh, that's right. It is an autograph. Touche. Yeah, I was looking at the uh, at the sapphire parallels. Maybe the the autographs are different. Yeah, fuck me, right? Fuck me. Well, I'm not colorblind. I'm just fucking illiterate, apparently. Got the Glenn Allen, the 75. See, even then, like, this would still be the non... This is not an auto. This is a parallel. And it still says here, parallels are to 50. That's kind of kind of dumb. Then again, I'm on break... Well, checklist center, whatever that means. You're like, I'll show you what I'm looking at. That's, that's the link to what I'm looking at. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue now. One day, JMS, one day. I mean, I've come a long way, bro. Like, like I, I came into this knowing absolutely nothing. Like, nothing at all. And I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm a lot better than I was when I first started. Yeah, James, uh, I think I pulled one, like, la I think we did some of this stuff last year, and I think I did pull one of those, uh, Pat Parachas, if I'm even pronouncing that right, the green sapphires to 50, orange sapphire 25, purples to 10, red to 5, and then the super fractor, gotcha.
But those are for autos, right? Yeah, those are for the autos. I gotta say, uh, I do like the cracked ice. I'm a sucker for the cracked ice. Or the Atomics, wh whatever they call them now. I think I'll forever call them cracked ice. Yeah, the they're the uh, the odds are on the back of the the back of the box. Maybe we can see it, but well, those are the odds anyway. Anyway. Well, I'm saving time by uh, sleeving all this stuff. I know, I know, James. Just like the same reason why uh, I think Panini calls them silvers and Tops calls them refractors, right? Like, it's like just different vernacular, but it's the same shit. You gotta love it. So a Dominguez right there. I think that's like the second one. TCU repping that breakers. Not much, man. Not much. Ripping some sapphire here. We filled uh, sapphire three already. I just got to do the uh, the random for that after I'm done with this break. Which I am four boxes away from doing. Dang. Was it because it was sold out? Uh, sold out that quickly, TCU? You know, I had to I had to call in a favor to get sealed cases of this stuff. You know, I I, I know people in high places, you know what I'm saying? Robertson finally going to play for OKC. Well, it's too bad that dude can't shoot for shit, but he's a good defensive player. A Poisson. That's nice. Yeah, Rob Robertson's all about that D. Pause. But uh, he can't shoot the ball for shit. He can't get to the rim, can't make his own shot, can't create for others. He's an offensive liability. But he's a good he's a great defender. I'll give him that. Big Ten playing in conference only. You talking football? College football? Man. I sure hope so. I hear you, TCU. I hear you. I mean, I can't complain. You know, I'm. I'm I am happy. Well, we got a brewer here, Adam Hill Brewers. Yeah, I read about that. No jersey swaps this year in football, if we're even going to have a football season. Let's 
Dude, thank you for getting into the break, Caleb. Oh, dude, I, I guarantee you that the SEC is going to be a unanimous decision to play football. I'm not surprised the Ivy League canceled all their fall sports. It's the Ivy League. <laughs> Who cares? Unless they're playing like lacrosse or some shit. I guess. Yeah, that's 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 why that's why they're called the Ivy League. I th I think. Bunch of pansies. Yeah, Cheeto Sims, that's a good point, you know. I, I can hit the crap out of you, but I can't swap jerseys with you, dog. Nah, bro, nah. I don't want that row in the dog. Another Dominguez, nice. That's like three Dominguez's right there. Actually, four. Dominguez, two blue Roberts, a blue Poisson, and a blue with Junior. Man, we need some ink on that though. Twenty-two hundred dollars worth of Dominguez. Man, I hope I get a tip. I'm just kidding. All right, let me go get some water real quick. Be right back. <coughs>
They're just slick looking cards. I really like them. Man, the Tigers, this guy keeps coming out, man. Tariq Skubal. I think that's the second Tigers auto. Another Lewis Robert? Wait, what? what is... Is it just me? It's probably just me, but... Okay, it's just me. I just never noticed that. It's got that different border around it. White Sox. Killing it. One pack left, and then two boxes left.
All right, we need some big autos. Let's hit that one of one or a red auto. Lots of teams without a hit just yet. We got to change that. That's the first Laura I've seen. That's decent. Yeah, uh, uh, Ruben card did not raise auto. Looks nice, all blue. All right, let's get that one on one. I want to see that pad paracha. It's like a like a pinkish reddish kind of color. Nice, another way, Junior. Laura goes for about 80 ish. A little something with Junior here for the Royals. Picks left in the last box. What is what called, uh, Sean? Right, right. 
Red Sox. Although the 101 is called uh, Pat Paratcha or something like that. I mean, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, here's what it is. Pad Paratcha. Yeah, I think that's what it's, I think that's how it's pronounced. Pad Paratcha. Uh, but there it is in the chat. That looks nice. Blue on blue. Whatever happened to this guy? I think like a couple of years ago, he was supposed to be like the the next big thing. This Roy Royce Lewis guy. We kind of cheated there. We got Nick Bennett to seventy five Brewers. Sixty three to seventy five. Uh, Nick Bennett. Biggest hit of the night, probably uh, this one. It's not autographed, but it is a uh, Dominguez to seventy five. I think that might be the biggest hit so far. Dude, I wish, bro. If I hit that one on one, Jason D Auto. I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. Dang, already I ran out of it? Wow. Sheesh. Rodriguez, Trevor Swagger, am I going to have enough? No, I'm probably not. Definitely not. Well, enough for this pack. And roll this in. Well, on the money. Alright. Go grab some more sleeves. Sleeves too. I think we ordered some, so we should be all right. Nice, Sean. Well, hopefully you can see some uh, magic like that happen in here real soon. Like last box. I could totally see JMS do like one of those antique road shows where he just like goes around and praising people's stuff. <laughs> uh, 10 boxes in a case of Bowman Sapphire.
So we need to hit the last auto here. Scooball. Interesting. Carlson Cardinals. It looks like the last autograph is for Gus Varland Ease. In orange? Ooh, that's the Pat Paracha right there! Whoa! That is no is that was that a filler team? That was a filler team. I think it was a filler team. Well, that's the Pat Paracha right there. One of one. Adley Rushman. That's a nice card. That's a real nice card. There you go, Pete. One of one mojo. Very nice. I do have a... Uh... I do have one touches. I have actually two. And uh, I'll give one to you. Uh, I'm just not going to put it in here. You know, uh, as you can see, the corners there. You know, I've heard many horror stories where shipping on one touches damages the card. So we just don't do that. But uh, I'll be more than happy to, you know, send that to you. Unless you don't want it. If you don't want it, then shit, I'll keep it. Most definitely, Freak. What you think I'm going to do after this? Another Wit Jr.? Man. Oh, perfect, Pete. Perfect. I'm saving. I'm saving it for when I hit that one on one Tua in a Dolphin uniform. You know what I'm saying?
Viper Ratchet. Well, you missed the you missed the Super Fractor, Jameis. That's all. The Rasmataz. <laughs> Oh, you could watch me on the crap. Well, wait, you know what? I'm not even going to finish that sentence. All right, last but not least, that Royce Lewis. Okay. Sweet. Well, uh, let's do a recap here. So. So check it. Two base lowers Rangers. One pull a song for the A's. Three Wit Juniors base for the Royals. Three Lewis Robert rookies for the White Sox. And four Dominguez's. Three Blues. And an orange to 75. Sweetness. All right, autographs. We've got uh, Varland, A's, Cardinals, A's, Scooball Tigers, Hill Brewers, Varland, A's, uh, Delgado White Sox. Vargas Dodgers, uh, Cooper Johnson of 50 Tigers, Rutledge Nationals, Philip Clark Blue Jays, and last but not least, our one of one, Pat Paracha for Adley Rushman. That is nice. Say Pat Paracha three times and Uncle Jesse will appear. And that does it for the break. Thank you, everybody.